Hello guys and welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'll discuss about a numerical related to WSM. Before that, I would request you to check my introduction part to WSM so that you can understand more clearly. We have a question here. A RCC beam 300 mm wide in 4 meter span and 450 mm depth up to center of reinforcement. It is reinforced with 325 mm bar. Calculate moment of resistance and maximum load that it can resist using M20 concrete and FE450 steel. We will be considering this formula for calculating the moment of resistance. So let's start. Solution. Let me draw the section of the beam. These are the steel provided. Uh, as we are said, uh, three number of 25 mm bar. This is the depth up to the center of reinforcement, 450 mm. 300 is the section width. Given that FCK that is the characteristic strength of the concrete which is 20 Newton per mm square and FY that is the yield strength of steel as 450 Newton per mm square. Let us draw the stress diagram this being the neutral axis NC but remember we will consider the actual depth sigma CBC and sigma ST compressive bearing capacity and stress in steel in tension. Sigma CBC we can find by using FCK by 3 and for Sigma ST FY by 1.78 3 and 1.78 being the factor of safety. Substitute the value 20 by 3 this comes as 6.9 nearly taking this as 7 Newton per mm square and similarly FY being 415 divided by 1.78 uh, let me calculate this. This comes as 230 Newton per mm square. So we have got the value for this two sigma CBC and sigma ST. For critical depth of neutral axis, we have here NC is equal to N dash into D and N dash is equal to M by M plus R. Okay, and we will substitute over there. NC is equal to N dash into D and N dash is equal to M by M plus R. M is the modular ratio and uh, for which we have formula 280 by 3 sigma CBC. Substituting as 7, we get this value as 13.33. Similarly, R is equal to sigma ST by sigma CBC. I have already discussed about this in the introduction part. You can check there. We have this as 32.85 okay substitute the value of sigma st and sigma cbc then 13.33 13.33 plus 32.85 we get this value as 0 0.26 and finally this as 0 0.268 into 450 okay depth so we get this value as 129.6 mm also for actual depth of neutral axis because we will consider actual depth of neutral axis for the calculation of moment of resistance this being the actual depth of neutral axis and we don't know whether it is a balanced or over reinforced or under reinforced section using this formula we get bn square by 2 is equal to m into ast this is the just a transformation okay transform area method bn square we have b as 300 section width into n square by 2 n being the actual depth 13.33 that is the modular ratio ast area of steel provided so 3 into pi by 4 into d square that is just a simple formula of circle and we get this as 1471.85 substitute this value d being 450 on solving we get the value of n that is 185.526 that is depth of neutral axis was found as 129.6 mm and we find that the actual depth of neutral axis is greater than that of the critical depth of neutral axis hence it is a over reinforced section for over reinforced section the concrete fails prior to that of a steel hence we consider the moment of resistance to be calculated using the moment of resistance considering the compressive force moment of resistance is equal to c into z 
and C being the compressive force 1 into 1 by 2 into sigma CBC into B into N by into D minus N by 3 D minus N by 3 being the lever arm B into N being the area 1 by 2 into 7 into 300 into 185.526 450 minus 185.26 by 3 we get this value as 75.731 kilonewton meter so this is the maximum bending moment the beam can resist similarly for maximum load that the beam can resist m is equal to wl square by 8 being a udl okay the load acting on the beam is considered to be a udl here we have maximum moment as 75.731 kilonewton meter w is to be find okay so w into l the coefficient has given the length 4 meter so into 4 square divided by 8 and on solving we get the value of w as 37.86 kilonewton per meter this is the udl see we have to make a simple adjustment here we have been provided with the area of steel and we know area of steel is, is calculated on the basis of maximum moment acting on the section and the maximum moment is calculated considering the factor of safety hence we will reduce the maximum moment to its half value considering the service load and we will find out the maximum load acting here however providing safety of factor that is partial safety of factor m max is equal to 1 by 2 into mor 1 by 2 into 37.86 18.93 kilonewton per meter so this is the maximum load acting